Hey, good afternoon, More Medic One. Uh, today I have a little John Deere engine on the bench, and uh, y'all may recognize this motor from the uh, how to replace an engine on a uh, John Deere lawnmower video. But uh, it ought to uh, be a good video here. We're going to tear it down. I uh, had a lot of requests to uh, figure out why it was knocking so bad. I'll put a link in the description below uh, about the uh, how to replace it, and uh, y'all can watch that if y'all haven't already. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the sump on this one, and we're going to take a look at the connecting rod and uh, see what kind of carnage we have. I'm just going to flip the motor upside down on my bench here. Uh, we'll pop the sump off here in just a second. They're 3 8 bolts. And just take your wrench or impact wrench and just uh, walk it all the way around and loosen up all the bolts and take them out. Ooh, that one's in there good. So is that one. I'm going to have to. Uh, Turn on my air compressor. Be right back. <laughs> I'm back. I didn't want y'all to have to listen to that air compressor pump up. Now maybe we can get some work done. Man, some of y'all were just couldn't believe how rusted this engine was, as new as it was. Look at these bolts. This, I'm telling you, this guy had this thing sitting in a shed full of pool chemicals. Is why this thing is so rusted. That one's actually going to break off, I guarantee you. It ain't coming out. And some of them are finger tight. Got one left and it's going to break off, I guarantee you. She did. But I don't care. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and uh, get us a little pry bar or a hammer. Let's go ahead and work it up and out like that. Holy moly. It's like just black goo in there. Let's see if I can't get this <clears throat> rod here. Take the end of the rod cap off. I'm going to take the cam out of it. Show you my little nifty little crankshaft turning tool. I made have an old five horsepower Briggs rod, uh, just a nut with the rod bolt run down through there, and uh, you can come and catch that bolt right into a, uh, a groove on the crankshaft, and you can turn the crankshaft. Man, this thing is just all bit locked up. Do, 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 line up my timing marks. And this thing is filthy. There's the compression stroke. If it had any compression. Do, do, do. Go ahead and slide the crank gear off of there. I tell you what, everything is just filthy. Slide the camshaft up. And the reason this oil is so filthy, it's full of metal shavings. One of the lift 
projectors. And I think too, a lot of this engine's problem is it never got any uh, maintenance. We're going to take the rod bolts, they're 5 sixteenths, and let's go ahead and loosen those up. To actually look at this connecting rod cap, I took and cleaned it and wiped it off, but uh, you see how it's that dull finish? This thing's been sitting in a vat of uh, motor oil and metal shavings and dirt, and basically when that happens, the engine's reciprocating parts just wear out because of the uh, abrasive uh, mixture of oil and uh, it'll just wear a motor out in a matter of hours but uh, I have seen people babies or kids take a handful of rocks or or sand and dump down the dipstick tube and the, you know the parent doesn't see it and then they run it and I'm not saying that's what happened to this, but uh, let's go ahead and remove the cylinder head and uh, let's get the piston out. Y'all having a good day today? I know I did. It's Friday. I'm going to Arkansas this weekend. Hot Springs. Hello. What's going on here? And get the cylinder head off. Wow. Look at all that scoring. Got a pretty good ring groove. And let's see if I can knock this piston out while you're watching. May not be able to do it. I'll work with it for a second, and if I can't do it, I'll cut the camera. Yep, that ring grows. Not gonna let me get that out of there. Hold on just a second now. Get that out of the way. There we go. Holy macaroni. That piston is black. And grit everywhere. Let me, uh, Take the top ring off here. See what kind of gap we got. Pretty good gap. Man, oh man. Ring Groove City and pretty good scoring, but uh, lack of maintenance. That piston should just be nice and shiny and bright and not full of metal shavings, a mixture of oil. So that's just grit. But uh, you have to take care of these engine folks, or it'll do this. And don't keep them in a pool house full of chemicals either. <laughs> But uh, if you have any questions about Briggs & Stratton engines, let me know. 
more Medic One. Y'all have a good night.